Tonight's eighth presenter is a TEDx speaker, connection consultant, and co-author. His motto is, you never know how any connection can transform your life. Please put your hands together for Richard Lee Tai. You know what I've been worrying about all night is missing that high five, so I'm, I'm glad I, I landed it. <laughs> Every person has exactly two things in common. We all gotta eat and we're all gonna die. This is the opening line to a YouTube series called Last Meals, where celebrities are interviewed and get to enjoy their last meal. And if you're the host watching this, here's what I'd like for my last meal. I would like a salted caramel ice cream cone from Village Ice Cream, Vietnamese coffee, Thai Penang curry with fluffy coconut rice, and a boatload of sushi. <laughs> I'll be waiting for my invite, and I hope I didn't make all of you hungry. But you might be wondering how this is relate to closure. We're all gonna eat, and we all gotta die. If you were to die tomorrow, would you feel like your life was complete, or would you have regrets? We can feel like we have these loose threads that aren't closed off. We have dreams that we haven't pursued, and people we haven't reconciled with. Stare at the screen, look at the cross, and something might happen. <laughs> What's supposed to happen is maybe the colors will fade away, and it's an analogy for how we can feel like life loses its meaning and its vibrancy. And if you still see the color, maybe you're already living a vibrant life. <laughs> if you're like me, though, sometimes I need something to shake me awake and remind me why I'm here. This past year, I turned 25, and I, I wanted to do something special. A normal person might have just, you know, hosted a party at their house or gone to the club and called it a day, but not me. I wanted to do something different. <laughs> For my birthday, I hosted what I called a celebration of life so far. <laughs> and I'm planning on hosting this event for the next, or until I'm 100, so that gives me 75 more years. During my year one of 75, I shared about one of my favorite books, Tuesdays with Maury. Maury Schwartz battled with ALS, an incurable neurodegenerative disease. And rather than shying away from this topic of death, he talked about it candidly to the news and in this book. He said, the truth is, when you learn how to die, you learn how to live. He was surrounded by loving friends and family members, and it was those simple things that brought him joy in life. And yet, there are so many people that visited him saying that they were unhappy in their lives. Why is that? The speaker, Les Brown, said, the graveyard is the richest place on earth because it's here that you'll find all the dreams and hopes that were never fulfilled. We can feel unhappy when we've never truly pursued what we wanted at our core. We limit ourselves, we play small, and we procrastinate. Oh, I have plenty of time. Maybe I should get started now. Okay, I should definitely get started now. Beep. <laughs> <laughs> we think our future selves are way far off in the distance, and so we procrastinate. But I want to change this right here and now. I'm going to read a letter from my future self to my current self, and I'm doing it publicly so you can hold me accountable. <laughs> Here goes. Dear current Richard from Richard five years from now, I've had so many 10x jumps over these five years that you wouldn't believe. I'm surrounded by high quality people who think life is an adventure and there's no end to what I can do. I'm in a long-term relationship with a partner who's just as committed to their continual growth and I'm closely connected with my parents. I've ensured that they've had a peaceful and happy retirement. And I'm creating a legacy of impact. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> not, <laughs> not because I have a million dollars, but because I've impacted a million people. You like that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm creating a world without loneliness where everyone can make meaningful connections and I've grown multiple businesses that serve as a vehicle to live my fullest purpose and create financial independence. Richard, 
one of the most important connections you can ever cultivate is with your future self because it's what will foster the deepest sense of self-acceptance and authenticity. You don't benefit anyone by playing small. So dream big, think big, and take big actions. You got this. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn to connect with your future self. We're gonna be experimental. I'm gonna invite you to pull out your phone. <laughs> and I want you to open your camera app and turn it to the selfie mode. This is current you, and it's April 25th, 2024, and you're at this crazy event called Pachakacha. <laughs> and now take a photo. <laughs> Imagine it's five years from now, and your future self is looking back. What would your future self want to say to your current self? What needs to be true in your life so that you have closure? Every moment, you have the opportunity to write the history you'd rather read later. After this event, I'd invite you to write a letter to yourself. And if you want, post this photo online with your letter and tag me in it. What I'll do, I'll take some of these posts and compile it into another pachakacha at my annual celebration of life. <laughs> it took you your whole life to arrive at this moment. And maybe you've recently been feeling like life is a bit dull or bleak. But I want to remind you that there's still some color. There's still an inner spark that you just need to let be lit again. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I hope I don't set off the fire alarm. <laughs> the sparkler is an analogy for life. I actually think we all have three things in common. We all gotta eat, we're all gonna die, and we all have an inner spark. We have a choice to burn bright and bring light to this world. Sense the people to the left and right of you and the energy in this room. Life is short and one day it's gonna fizzle out. But before that day, remember that your single flame can light a thousand candles.